Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin. Today we have another unboxing video. I kind of forgot I had this watch. Um, not really. Well, yeah, I guess I did kind of forget I had it. Uh, um, reason why I bought this watch is to compare it to my other Zelo Swordfish. Actually, I already have a emerald in 40 millimeter, and this one is the. I think it was called the Desert Sand or Gray, Desert Gray, something like that. Um, but as you, I'm sure as you know, the 40 millimeter sold out. Uh, I think within a day. I actually bought this one used from a fellow Random Rob Patreon member. And anyway, the emerald one, the case came messed up. There's some gouges on the case, so I thought I was gonna have to send that one back. And I wanted something else to be able to compare to my other swordfish and other watches that are coming in. Sorry, one minute. Let me dump this out. So I bought this one. I was kind of interested in this colorway already anyway. And uh, I chose the emerald green before this one. And actually, I... Um, the first one I bought was actually a meteorite one, which I have since sold. I actually do sell some of my watches. I actually want to sell a lot more. It's just getting a little neur neurotic with this, a little out of control. Um, you know, it's a lot easier to buy them than to sell them, I guess. But I do need to sell them. So I should open the other end, but whatever. So let's get this out. So it looks just like my other one. Some of the links have been removed already, which is fine. I bought it used, so let's see how it looks. Now this one did not come with any extra straps. The uh, Mako I just received has the Tropic strap. And then the Titanium came with, um, came with a leather strap. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool looking. I think this is a stainless bezel. You can feel the quick release pins right there. This one's kind of rough. So anyway, the date wheel is black, which goes nice with this. It looks like uh, the smoke or fume, fume, however you're supposed to pronounce that. I don't know, it's a French word, I guess, but um, just means that it goes from light to dark as you ex go out on the expand out from the dial. These are pretty light too. Actually, I did a comparison video on the weight between the titanium and stainless 42 millimeter swordfish, but I did not compare it to the 40. So um, I think that'll be another video. I just came up with that idea talking about it right now so that will be fun let's get this on wrist and I'll hit it with the UV light that's a good size for my six and a half inch wrist this has the new class but not the um, the quick adjust it still has the micros here six of them six micro adjusts which is plenty fine uh, actually it's really good i should say and then these links are real small so it should be real easy for uh, anyone to adjust this to their wrist size nice bezel action the loom has the uh, vintage loom effect to it similar to my black sand swordfish Actually, I don't, I've never had a gray dial before, so. 
This will be fun. Then I'll have another video comparing this to the emerald green swordfish. Oh, yeah, let me zoom out and then hit this with the UV light. Things looks good on my wrist. Oh yeah, the uh, I always forget the chapter ring is loomed on this. I don't know why I do, but I kind of forget about that. I guess I'm just not expecting it. So, tell you what, I'll get out my calipers and just measure the meshes on this quickly. I should memorize that, but I have a, a mess of watches here, so I can't remember them all. But I do believe this is 51. Okay, 50 and a half. And the diameter is 52. I think, I don't remember what this was. Looks like about 46 and a half. The actual lug to lug. The other measurement was from this center link here. The fixed center link. Diameter, as I mentioned, is 42. 42 must be the bezel. I'm sorry, 40. Oh, man. I already said this was a 40 millimeter swordfish. So anyway, that's 40. And then the crown is six and a half. And lug to lug on this, I believe, is 20. Yep, 20. All right, does that taper down? Yeah, it tapers down to 18. So anyway, there you go. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would appreciate it. And... Let me know what you think of this gray color with the vintage loom in the smoke dial. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.